Hello again guys, in the last tutorial we created this product entity and we will add now the serializer in this entity so we will show only this name attribute and we, with that we will use the JMS serializer function so we need to add this use here this is from GMS serializer annotation as serializer this is the alias so we will use this in this entity so first we will say to add serializer exclusion policy oh which means we're gonna exclude all the attributes and then we will expose what we want so here we will say add serializer serializer Uh, to laser and let's say expose and with that we are exposing only this main attribute uh, so now we will use the data fixtures bundle and create products so we will create a folder here in the app bundle we'll call it data fixtures and then we'll create an ORM folder here we will create a PHP class we'll call it load product and we have this file so let's uh, configure this file to adapt data fixtures bundle so we need to implement the fixtures interface and with that we need to uh, implement the function called load this function in order to remove uh, since we are implementing an interface so we need to uh, to uh, add the load function which is here in the fixtures interface we only need to implement the load method we have the object manager that will persist and flash the data so we're going to create a product, a product which is a new product we're going to set name for example let's say third product and uh, we're gonna use for loop for example we can slice this to uh, one and dollar e plus plus see every time we will create a product and add it Add it to our database. So we'll say a product number and we'll add the dollar e. After that, we will use the manager to persist this product. And after this loop, we will say manager flash, which means we are persisting the data 10 times nine times so let's add ten and after that we will we will add all the those products in the database using this flash command and we access one time the database and add them so with that we are creating uh, ten products and we are uh, uh, saying here that we're only gonna show the dollar name in the API so let's see those data in the database but before that we need to uh, we need to uh, use the data fixtures command which is this one in order to load the products with an error in the old product okay let's see one ah sorry we need 
this thing. Uh, we have another problem. I forget to uh, to update the schema of our database. Let me try PHP. The O, which is doctrine, we could type schema, so in the message, update, and we need to add force. So now we have the product table in our database. Let's load the fixtures. And that's it. So we have this table in the database and also 10 products. The product number 1, 2, 3, and so 10. So here, PHP made me. We have our table GWG Symphony, we have our, uh, our database GWG Symphony, and our table product, and we have a 10 product here, yeah, as you can see. <coughs> so, in the next tutorial, we will create uh, an API using the post REST bundle, and it will return all our products. So, see you in the next tutorial.